what up it's amaro94 again and this is not a gundam review i'm just showing this gundam the end but we're gonna talk about today is having a version ka kit what are the perks and what are the cons maybe i'm not gonna focus on the cons but i'm gonna focus on the pros so without further ado what is a version ka kit um frankly I mean, uh, for details, um, version KA is it comes from the idea of the name Hajime Hajime Katoki. Hajime Katoki is a legendary master of mecha designing. So he just picks some model or mob a mobile suit and he makes it uh, in his own preference, and Bandai produces the product. So I have three samples, I mean accessories here, that I can show you. And the first one is the Sinanju's raw long rifle. So as you can see, very typical long rifle, but it, uh, it stands out when it's been put on Sinanju's uh, hands. So uh, for some uh, articulation, it has another scope in here, and this one that that part that comes down so I'm gonna talk about uh, pros here so if we can as you can see I can put another weapon slash accessory on this part and I'm gonna show you the part that comes with it the uh, hand grenade so to put it I'm gonna show you after uh, after this so without any issues the hand grenade is now in here you're just gonna open this part and connect that uh, little hinge in there and that's it the, the, this hand grenade really comes with the version KA of the Sinanju I don't know if it comes with the OVA version so yeah next um, accessory is from the Sazabi this uh, long beam rifle I think this one didn't show up in the movie but this one is really worth it to be on Sazabi's hand uh, this really stands out because this is really long and really friggin awesome so for some gimmicks this one can extend and just like the Sinan juice it can open and guess what you can put the hand grenade on this part too so I'm gonna show it to you after this cut and here we go as you can see it really doesn't stand out except for the uh, color of course it has different colors this one's like uh, dark on uh, navy bluish and this one's a uh, dark gray so it's it can stand out a little because of that little gimmick it can have a little animation from there and that's it for the uh, long rifle I'm gonna show you some one more thing and it's gonna it really blew my mind this bazooka and for your information this doesn't does not come with the Sazabi Verka nor the Sinanju Verka but this came with the Sinanju Stein Verka and nope I didn't have a Sinanju Stein Verka this is from my good friend JR Songlao I really uh, thank him for that he just gave me this for no reason at all and that's it so for the uh, gimmicks it can extend like this the uh, some hinge mechanism on the holder and this one has a sliding track just to show you the missiles so I think I'm gonna paint all of the rifles before I show it show them to a legitimate review and guess what it has um, joints here and yep guess it right this one can be put onto the rifles of uh, Sinanju and Sazabi but before that I'm gonna show you that this also comes with the Sinanju Stein kit and this one puts uh, above this one let me extend this and this one puts in here no issues at all and that's it there's another uh, hinge here for another holder this flappy thing I don't know what this is and I don't know what this is too but it looks cool so I'm gonna show you 
that this part can uh, combine with the Sinanju's long rifle and the Sazabi's long rifle. And just like the beast as it is, this is Sinanju's long rifle with the beam bazooka. I don't know if it's really a beam bazooka, but this is really badass. It's really shown in the OVA that he used this one, and I was really blown away with that weapon. It's quite large for the uh, for my camera. I need to push it away. And as you can see, this high grade. Oh my god, it's really long and it's extended, even still taller than the Gundam the end, even if it's not even if it's not extended. Now as you can see, I think this bazooka can also attach on Sinanju's nor or I think Suzabi's shield. I'm not sure, but you can try if you have one. So I'm gonna show you lastly that this bazooka can also attach on Suzabi's long rifle. And as you can see, this is one hell of a weapon. Just look at the detail, let me focus a little. That's right. Just look at it. And then when I extend this one and this one, it's really goddamn long. Uh, I mean, this weapon is really uh, gonna be uh, tricky to put on to Sazabi's hand, especially if this is really heavy. I think this will be very heavy while holding it and yeah as you can see I keep in mind though that uh, the part below the rifle uh, should be removed this is the part that should be removed so that you can put this bazooka in this little uh, hand grenade that comes from this from the uh, Sinanju. Oh, and I forgot. You can also put this uh, above the rifle to make it heavier and to make it more badass and more uh, stressful to put on Sazabi's hand. I think this is just for show, but come on, this is really great. The color separation and everything, it looks really, really good. So, this. Uh, these are the uh, pros in having version Katoki kits, especially when you have uh, uh, Sazabi Verka, Sinanju Verka, and Sinanju Stein Verka. So I'm gonna recommend you guys that you buy those three. Well, I, I don't have the Sinanju Stein Verka, but well, my uh, intention just to have that Sinanju Stein Verka is just this bazooka, and I got it now. So I'm gonna I'm thinking twice from uh, getting the kit now but meh I'm still uh, I don't know I, I think I might buy it or not but I don't know so for you guys who has those three awesome version Katoki kits you can try and mix it up so that's it guys and I'll see you again of course you must uh, I hope you will like and subscribe and wait until Saturday for the weekly review of this Destiny Gundam and I hope uh, you you're still with me uh, and into the near future and thank you guys for your support peace